Today we're going to be talking about uh, comparing fractions within word problems. So I know Ms. Walker and Ms. Nimchak have talked to you guys a little bit about comparing fractions and we may have just used models or maybe not used models and just used math. And today we're going to kind of put that into practice and see what that would look like when we give it a real world situation to go with. So the first situation we're going to look at is about pecan pie because we all love pecan pie. It's delicious. All right, so this says that the brewers and the smiths are each eating pecan pie for dessert. The brewers ate two-thirds of the pecan pie, and the smiths ate two-sixths of the pecan pie. So we're going to be thinking about who ate more, who ate less, who's got more left over. We're going to be answering those questions when we're thinking about this. So the first thing that I want to think about is I want to try to figure out who ate more of the pie. So... Maybe the brewers, they only have three people in their family. So both of my pies are the same size. If I'm going to split my pie with three people versus splitting my pie with six people, let's think about which one of those is going to give me bigger pieces. Well, the less people I share with, the bigger the pieces get. So if I'm only sharing with three people and no matter what I get two pieces, I would much rather have the two pieces from when I'm only sharing with three people, right? because my pieces have gotten a lot bigger. Over here, I still get two pieces, but my pieces are a lot smaller because I'm having to share with a lot more people. So if I'm thinking about who ate more, I would definitely say that the brewers ate more than the Smiths. But what if I asked a different question? Now I want us to think about the question who has more pie left over? Because pie is delicious, we love to eat it, we also like to have some left over. So let's think about that question, who has more pie left over? So if I'm gonna look at that, the brewers, they have this little piece, they ate two out of three pieces, so they have one out of three pieces left. The Smiths ate two out of six pieces, so they have four of their pieces left over. Well, let's think about that. If I'm looking here, who has the most pie left over? Well, I can definitely see that the Smiths have a lot more pie left over. So if I was going to ask the question, who has the most pie left over? I would definitely say that the Smiths, I would say that the Brewers have less pie left over than the Smiths. That's why, boys and girls, it's really important that we're listening hard to what question we're being asked and paying super, super close attention. All right, so we're going to move on to another question, and this one I'm going to, I'm going to kind of leave open-ended as well, and we're going to look at it, and we're going to try to answer some different questions about this one too. So this one doesn't even have our picture, so we have a lot of work to do on this one, but we're smart, and we can do it. All right, so this one says that Courtney and Bree each have their own whole pizza. Courtney's pizza is cut into eight slices, and Bree's is cut into six slices. So the first thing that I'm thinking about doing with Courtney and Bree's pizza is drawing a picture. And I know you all said that with me because you know that that's exactly what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to draw a picture. Anytime we have things that are talking about items that we can draw, we always need to draw a picture first. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my board and I'm going to draw Courtney and Bree's pizza. And I'm going to assume that they're probably the same size. And that's close enough to the same size for me. So it says that Courtney's pizza is cut into eight slices. So I'm going to go ahead. And if you've been in my class, you know that I always tell you to make an X and a T. And you've got eight slices. And then it tells me that Breeze is cut into six pieces. Also, if you've been in my class, you know when we cut things into six, we make a skinny X. And then cut through the middle. And that makes our pieces pretty close to even. All right. And it didn't even ask us a question because I wanted to ask you guys a couple of questions about this. I didn't want us to be limited about what questions we were going to be asked. So let's think if we were talking about our pizzas, or Courtney and Bree's pizzas, excuse me. They're not my pizzas. They're Courtney's and Bree's pizzas. If I'm talking about their pizzas, and I'm thinking, well, what if they each ate two pieces? So here's... A piece and here's a piece of Courtney's pizza there's a piece and there's another piece of Bree's pizza here I'll even put a C and a B C and B for Courtney's pizza and Bree's pizza 
So let's look here. If Courtney ate two pieces and Brie also ate two pieces, did they eat the same amount of pizza? Well, if I can look here and I can see Courtney ate two out of eight pieces. So Brie ate two out of six pieces. So think about this. If I'm sharing my pizza with eight people versus with six people, how am I gonna get the most pizza? Because that's what I'm concerned about is how am I gonna get the most pizza? Well, I already know that the less people I share with, the more that I get for myself. So if Courtney has two eighths of her pizza and Brie has two sixths of hers, they both get two pieces, but Brie is gonna have more pizza because she's sharing it with less people or it's cut into less slices, okay? So if I'm asking the question of if they each eat two pieces, who eats the most? I would definitely say that Courtney ate less than Brie. But let's change it up a little bit. Let's change it up. Let's see maybe if we can ask a different question and think about this. This is one of the reasons that I kind of left this one open-ended is so I could ask you guys whatever questions I wanted to ask you. And I can make things super tricky if I want to. Ha <laughs> ha All right, so now let's say that here's Courtney's pizza over here. It's in its eight slices. Courtney is going to eat enough to where she has three pieces left over. So I'm gonna shade all the pieces that she ate and I'm gonna leave her with three pieces. There, now Courtney's got three pieces left over. I'm gonna come over to Bree's Pizza and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna shade it until she's got three pieces left. So there we go. Now they both have three pieces of their pizza left. So if I think about that in terms of a fraction, I would say that Courtney has three eighths of her pizza left over to take home with her. And Brie has three sixths of her pizza left to take home with her. So I'm gonna think about who has the most pizza left over. Cause this is a different question. We tried to figure out who ate the most and now we're trying to figure out who has the most left over. So let's look here. So if Courtney has three out of eight pieces left, Brie has three out of six pieces left. We talked a little bit about benchmark fractions. We talked about our benchmark fractions. We talked about zero, one half, and one being our benchmark fractions, and we learned a lot of them. We talked about how we always have to know. We hear one half, we think one half, two fourths, three sixths, four eighths, right? Those are, uh, those are our one half benchmark fractions, and we know that. So let's kind of use our benchmark fractions to figure out who has the most left over. So Courtney has three eighths of her pizza left. Well, we know when my denominator is eight that four eighths gives me one half. So let's think, is three eighths more than four eighths, equal to four eighths, or less than four eighths? That's right, three eighths is less than four eighths. So three eighths is gonna be less than a half. All right, and let's come over here to Brie. Brie has three-sixths of her pizza left, and I see three-sixths, and my brain goes ding, 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 one-half alert, because three-sixths is equal to one-half. So she has half of her pizza left. Courtney has less than half of a pizza left. So who has the most left over? Exactly. Brie has the most left over, so Courtney has less than Brie left over to eat as yummy, yummy seconds the next day. All right, boys and girls, I'm so glad that I got to teach you a little bit about fractions today, how we could use them in our real world problems, how to kind of think about things, maybe answer questions that aren't necessarily asked because that may give us a chance to think about things that we wouldn't have thought about. I'm so glad you were here to learn with me today and I miss you all so much and hope to see you soon. Bye.